Hey guys, welcome back to this kayak series episode 5. And this episode will be the first of many where we actually go fishing with this kayak. And today it is Kaimana Beach here in Waikiki. One thing that I like about this kayak is that it's not that heavy. So I'm really excited today because this is the first of many where we're going to be using this kayak to go kayak fishing and today we'll be in Kaimana Beach. Kaimana Beach is popular around this time because of the, the type of fish here as you saw in the beginning of this video was halalu. Um, they're small mackerels that is very popular here in Hawaii. You can actually see the fishermen all lined up off the distance. Once I paddled off to shore and I got myself at the right spot, I threw out my anchor. One thing I realized though once throwing out my anchor was it's hard to reach and the setup was very difficult. I would need to redesign that setup for future excursions. After fiddling with the anchor, I was able to finally set up my fishing pole. I then cast my first line and hope for the best. Meanwhile, underneath the surface, a huge school of hollow was just swimming around the area. Rachel was able to capture this footage as she was snorkeling around. She's a great free diver. She's able to dive 20 feet deep very easily. Meanwhile, on the surface, I continue to fish. I'm using a bobber with uh, artificial lure. One thing about fishing in a kayak I realize is that it can easily mess up with your line. As, as you can see here, my lines got tangled and it took a while for me to untangle it. While I was untangling the fishing line, all the fishes, as you can see, were just having fun underneath my kayak. And it took a while to untangle it as I fast forward this video. After a while though, I decided to go trolling. And I was doing that, Rachel off the distance was able to capture this video of a sea turtle taking a breath. I did some trolling for about 30 minutes and that whole time there was no bite at all. As the sun was setting, I was thinking how this kayak was holding up. There are no leaks and the keel guard that I attach has not come off. 
as I mentioned in the earlier part of this video however I do need to work on the anchor setup but that will be in another video so stay tuned after a few more casts it was getting too dark I needed to come in I did not catch any fish today and it was unfortunate but I think overall it was a good experience testing the kayak for the first time fishing. It was a calm afternoon and as you can see a beautiful sunset. I hope you like this episode and stay tuned for the next one. My brother will try this kayak for the first time and try to catch Halalo here in the same spot. Hopefully then we'll be able to catch something. In the meantime, stay safe and if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Until next time.